Hey, Jacob, uh, you know that spooky, rainy forecast you just delivered? Well, that is going to match uh, the Columbus Fairgrounds, and the theme of tonight's haunted, uh, haunted, haunted house is Nightmare at the Fairgrounds. And joining me live right now is Mrs. Jane Jordan. She is the owner of the Columbus Fairgrounds on Highway 69 South, and you have had uh, a whole lot to do with putting this together, Mrs. Jordan. Uh, talk about why you decided to get involved and what people can expect coming out to the fairgrounds well Rhonda got in touch with me through a mutual friend uh -huh. and expressed interest in the fairgrounds for the haunted house uh -huh. and I didn't understand it but I was like sure <laughs> and when she started putting it together I was I just I, I wanted a room I wanted to help it was just exciting and um, the expectations get better every year we plan Please. a long time in advance and uh -huh. we get different things every year. Nice, nice. Yes. And talk about the room that you helped decorate. Uh, what does it look like? And uh, yeah, how long did it take to put it all together? Well, my room actually is a voodoo witch haven uh, den, I guess you would call it. Yeah. it. It took, my room has a lot of detail in it, so it took me almost uh, three weeks to put mine together. <laughs> because, oh my goodness. Yeah, it has a lot of detail in that it. But I don't ever get to play in my room. You know? No, I played in the Hayride Saturday night. Yeah. Of course, the Hayride, as you know, will be canceled because of the rain. All right. And I'm in the hall, haunted hallway. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And so uh, talk about the Community Benefit Committee. You know, they're trying to get enough money to pass out bikes to kids this holiday season. Why do you think they're important to this area? And what would you say to get other people to help the Community Benefit Committee? Well, I had never heard of the Community Benefit Committee until the Haunted House. And when she told me what it was all about and Christmas, uh, it was it was the thing to do. It, yeah. it brings people together. It lets people know that there are people who care and people care enough to actually put major work into a fundraiser. Very nice. Now, let me ask you a hypothetical question before we take a break. Uh, let's say you have a guy friend or a ghoul friend. Should you bring them to walk through this, uh, the haunted fairgrounds, or should you go at it alone? What advice would you give? Absolutely bring a friend. <laughs> You've got to have someone to hang on to. All right, Jacob, you hear that? You and me, buddy. All right, let's send it back to you in the studio. More coming up still ahead.